People are more likely to watch your content if you add subtitles to your video. Here are some numbers for you to consider. 80% of people say they are more likely to watch an entire video when it's subtitled. And 69% of people watch videos in public spaces with sound off. And 25% will watch them on mute, even in private. 50% of people think subtitles are vital because they watch videos on mute. If you don't want to miss out on such a huge audience, you need to add subtitles to your video. Luckily for you, subtitling now takes minutes and not hours, and it's super easy. Hi, my name is Holly, and I'm going to show you how to add subtitles to your videos using Subly. Besides adding subtitles to your audio and video files, you can use Subly to translate subtitles, create video snippets from your videos, subtitle and download videos for different platforms, and so much more. When you upload your file to Subly, it understands what's being said in the video. It writes it out for you, breaks into subtitle lines, and arranges them in the proper timing for your video. All you have to do is take a look at those automatic subtitles to check if they're the way you want them, and then you're done. If you want something changed, Subly has a very intuitive subtitle editor, and you can use it in minutes. Even if you have never seen a subtitle editor in your life, it's that easy. Let's take a look at it. When you open your Subly account, you can instantly upload your file by dragging and dropping it into the designated area or choosing it from your device. However, you can just drop it in the URL here and wait for a minute until your video is uploaded. You can also upload from Google Drive and from Zoom. How to add subtitles to your video. Once your video is uploaded, click on it and that will take you directly to the editor. Now, once you're here, you can see there are three options. You can get Subly to automatically transcribe and add subtitles for you. You can type in your subtitles manually, or you can upload already existing subtitles if you have them in an SRT file format. At this time, we'll show you how to get Subly to automatically add subtitles to your video for you. Ready? Okay, just click here, pick the language spoken in the video. As you can see, there are multiple languages offered. At this time, we'll pick English, Great Britain. And that's it. Really, it's that easy. So we will show you how long your video is and what your current balance is. Once you click get started, you can sit back and watch Subly do its thing. Depending on how long your video is, this can take between a few seconds and a few minutes. Once your subtitles are ready, you can see them on the left side of the screen and on the screen itself over the video. If you click this little icon here, the movie icon, you will see the subtitles at the bottom of your screen in a form of a timeline as well. You can watch your entire video with subtitles simply by pressing the play button here. Hi, my name is Holly and I'm going to show you the most user-friendly subtitling tool you can... Now you may notice some mistakes in your subtitles. Even though Subly is highly accurate, slips can happen, so it's best to check. If you catch any, you can fix them in seconds. So let me show you how to edit your automatic subtitles. How to edit subtitles. You can edit your subtitles by moving the play head to the section you want to change. Or you can click on the subtitle line you want to edit on your left side. In this video, we want to change this little mistake here. As you can see, the subtitles say subtly when it should be subly. I just need to click on it like this and type the correct word. Another thing that I can edit is the timing of my subtitles. I feel like this sentence is too long and I'd like this part of the sentence to be on one line of subtitles and this part to be on the new screen frame. All you need to do is place my cursor here and hit enter. So it will automatically adjust the timestamps for these new lines. Also, if I change my mind, I can just merge these two lines into one again. I just need to copy this line here and paste it where it was before. Now I'll simply delete this time slot that's not empty here and adjust the timestamps. You can also easily edit the duration of your subtitles. You can manually add timestamps here, but a much easier way to do this is in the section below your video. It allows you to simply drag the beginning and end of your subtitles as you wish. How to style your subtitles. If you're burning your subtitles into your video, you have a lot of control of how your subtitles are going to look. You get to brand them by picking their colors, font, size, even position. Here's how to do it. On your left side, click on the style button. This opens this neat menu for you. As you can see, the first option is to change the aspect ratio of your video. By clicking on each of these, you'll change the layout. 
Now, in this drop down menu, you can change the fonts, size, color, and subtitle alignment. Let's take a look at the background menu. As you can see, the font background is set to fit the border by default. If this is the case, you can choose the background color or even upload an image. The other option is to fit and crop the background yourself. This is how that looks like. The rest of these options are very much self-explanatory. You get to pick the border color of width in pixels, choose the already offered colors. The effects you choose include outline, drop shadow, background, and of course, when you hover over these, you can see that you can adjust each of these effects to your liking. For example, if you click drop shadow, it will allow you to pick the color, opacity, and the size of the drop shadow. I'll pick a red shadow at 50% opacity and set the size to five pixels. This is not really readable, is it? But it proves the point. If I change my mind, I can just go back and pick none from the effects menu and I'll be back to the default subtitle style. When it comes to position, you can choose top, middle or bottom, or you can hit this toggle button right here and choose your own custom setting. Keep in mind, if you make any of these edits, they will reflect on the entire subtitle file and not just the section you are viewing at the moment. There are some other options for improving and editing your video here, but we'll save those for the next video. If you really like what it looks like, you can save it as a preset, so you can speed up this process the next time you subtitle your video. Now, you may have noticed there is another tab here that says guidelines. This is where you can set the maximum number of lines on screen and even the maximum number of characters of words per line. There are also options for maximum characters per second and duration. As you can see, at this moment, there are two lines on my screen. But if I apply the one line option, here's what happens. I will have to process my subtitles so they can be rearranged to meet this criterion. There are also preset subtitle guidelines. You can choose to format your subtitles in the same way like BBC, Netflix, or Ted does it, or you can just come up with your own. Let's say I want to make my subtitles BBC like. I just click here and click reprocess. Now that you've started and formatted your subtitles, let's go and download them. How to download subtitles. Once you're happy with your subtitles, you have several options for downloading. You can find all those options by clicking on this blue button at the top right. As you can see, you can download your video with or without subtitles in different aspect ratios, your subtitles or your audio. If you want to force your subtitles on the screen and be 100% sure your signing is intact, burn your subtitles onto your video and download them as a single file. That's how you do open captions, by the way. But again, that's another video. Let's focus on subtitles now. Select the format from the drop down menu you want to download your subtitles in TXT, SRT, or VTT. Now, keep in mind that a VTT file will keep all your formatting, such as color, font, etc., and SRT won't. It will keep the subtitle text and the timestamps, but all the bells and whistles will be gone. Not all platforms allow all the subtitle formats, so check what you need before downloading. When you choose your format, download your subtitle to your device or directly to your Google Drive. And lastly, you can also just download the audio file too. And there you go, now you have your subtitles just the way you want them. Thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, like and share this with those that you think may find it useful. You can also follow us on social media and find all the links in the video description below. Bye and until next time.